There was something about Dalesford that made me feel extremely comfortable, welcomed and at home. There's a real energy here that um, a lot of people are drawn to. It's never been anything else other than completely friendly and open to people of all walks of life. The traditional life of growing up and meeting a man and going and getting married just wasn't for me. I just knew that I didn't fit in and I was desperately trying to find somewhere where I, you know, I sort of felt at home. So it would have been in the mid-90s I, I moved here for the first time. We started um, coming up here as a family for some rest and downtime. And every time I crested the hill going in from Balan into Dalesford, my shoulders would drop and I felt at home. The first time I came up here was in 1990. I'd moved um, from country Queensland and I had been very unhappy living in the country. Um, but always wanted to live in the country but found it very um, lonely and isolated. The country wasn't a very friendly place for um, lesbians and gays in those, at those, that time. Um, but I knew from the women's balls, they were called women's balls but they were really lesbian balls, um, that Dalesford was a place that was more welcoming. started socially. We had a big gathering called Summer Fair, Summer Fair. And of course me with my you know, naive hat on as well as my political hat, I, I enrolled the CWA to do the deputies, the, you know, all the women's groups in Dalesford who were, you know, very much the blue ring set or, you know, not very you know. and of course hundreds of sort of I suppose ghetto dykes and you know crew cuts and balds and you know nothing and, and the poor old women they you know that they, they just could not believe what was going on. We had a dance that Saturday night at the town hall and that's what started the women's balls. So every year we had um, the Dalesford women's ball. There'd be all interesting people there and it was a really fascinating culture. Um, but it was still quite, it was a very small community back then. It was a women's town to start with, not so much gay and lesbian as, you know, as it is now. It was more, it was all the lesos and the women. There was quite a few nights and quite a few um, quite public events that were that were known as being gay friendly. There was Jacks on a Friday night, which was um, I think organised through Springs Connection. It was upstairs at what's the Alpha Gallery, and that was a Friday night dinner. And any local lesbians and gays were welcome, and any visiting lesbian and gays were welcome. So it was kind of a way to encourage um, community and connection for those who were coming up for a weekend from Melbourne. You know, it was gay friendly and, and so you did. You'd, you'd come over here because even if you weren't out yet, you could sort of just hang around other people that you knew were gay. difficult to remember whether we were comfortable walking hand in hand in the main street but um, I think increasingly there was acceptance and I think Chill Out did a lot for that. It's the largest regional gay regional festival in Australia. It's certainly the largest festival this town puts on. It brings the most people into the town ever. The whole community comes out and embraces it and all the shop owners, they all put the flag out everybody's included. It's one of those sort of 
I guess what everyone would like to have in, in every community in that it really doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight. Historically, it's more support during a time when you can't be out um, without being with others who know what it's like to make that choice between um, being out and true to who you are and facing the um, insults and ostracism and probably um, sometimes physical assault or the psychological damage of being in the closet and living two lives. One life where people know who you are and then perhaps work or you know, everywhere else you live where it's a complete secret. And that takes its toll. So I think having community means that you can be with others who have experienced that same thing. In the time when I was coming out, it was really difficult. So I looked at my community as my family and they were the family that I chose. I think the fact that there is a large gay population, they're very accepting, they're very experienced with with gay people and therefore somebody like me who comes in and wants to run some livestock, it's not, I'm not a, I'm not a freak show. Our community here in Dalesford is very accepting. I've never had an issue. I've never had a problem. And that's not just our, commu our GLBTIQ community. It's everyone that fits for us. It's lovely to live in a community where being gay doesn't have any negative results at all. It's, it's everyone's, we just live like one big happy family. Thank you.